Oh, 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 did you see that? Pour them in. One by one by one by one. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Did you see this? Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, 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 did you see that? You, you didn't see that? I almost lost a finger. Oh. Why are you tempting it? I'm always tempting him because I like playing with big fish. Yeah. Guys, we're still at the fish farm. Not to get kicked out. Yeah, and um, <laughs> if you haven't seen the video that I went ahead and I helped out Zach getting his crawfish, I did that. But I noticed something crazy over here. There are some big old Paku out here in the cut. Just there chilling. With some of those Leo, Leo somethings. Big old long name, Leo somethings, but those fish are there. But look at those Paku there. Now we're here and I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself after I saw those crawfish, babe. I couldn't help myself and I think, oh. I think we have to go ahead and get some of those crawfish. What do you think? Yes. Yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and get some of those crawfish. There's like red, there's white, there's blue. We already got the blue and that's all set. But mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and get a red and a white one. Cause this is insane. But oh, you know what? The light's upon us. Let's go look at the albino arowana. Well, the light's here and it's still in the shade, but I'm gonna go ahead and go under real quick. Guys, look at this albino arowana. It is an absolute stud. It's gorgeous. Just like my women. Oh. But look at that. Nothing's prettier than this. Not even, not even you, I'm sorry. So guys, all the stuff here is for sale as always. It's an amazing place down here in the MIA. And it's full of amazing, amazing fish, koi, anything to fill up your ponds. You got predators, you got everything, you got giants. There's giants there. It's just really dark. Like, look at the size of this giant. Fat red tail catfish. A little over 30 inches and stuff. But we can stay here all day and look at all this stuff. Let's just go ahead and get those crawfish. I'm sorry. I just get distracted. I get distracted. I just love, I love looking at all this stuff, you know? So we're going to go to the tanks. Let's go ahead and see if I can get my boy to help me out and get these awesome crawfish. Look at these colors. Look at these guppies. Can I scoop one up? Friends? Anyone? Wow. Amazing. Guppy pond coming in the future. Look at these guppies, babe. They're adorable. They're amazing. They're amazing. Look at them. You're in the way. You're causing a shadow. Why are these so expensive? What do you mean? Oh, it's for you. Yeah, they're, they're everywhere. You know what? That's a good question, guys. I have no idea. In the comments below, let me know why these discus are so expensive. I mean, 40 bucks is not bad, but they're just no, but 40 bucks for a fish. Just that, wondering. That looks like that. It's, it's very curious. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how much are you? Like $10? I'm about to feed you to the red. Thing. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. And the time has come. Ignore me in the background, but look at these white and blue and red crayfish. Look, oh. The epic battle, red versus blue win. This is really cool. Now, the thing is, is we can catch these blue ones down here in South Florida, but the, the red and whites are actually kind of hard to find, you know, because obviously they're red and white, which makes them more visible to predators and stuff like that. So I apologize for this tank. It's outside, so there's a lot of algae and stuff going on here. But uh, I think we're going to have to do a red and white tank. What do you think? I think that's the move. I think that's the move. I'm thinking, um... What? A white male, yeah, a white male, and uh, a red female, since we already have Crayola, who is blue, so then, that'd be pretty cool, because then, you know what, the white can breed with the blue, and the white can breed with the red, you know, so then we can make, like, lighter blues, maybe a pink with the white and red, that'd be pretty cool, that would be, that'd be that pretty would be dope, mine. oh, yeah, you know, so we'll, we'll do that, I mean, Crayola's gonna miss blue, we're gonna miss blue for sure, maybe we'll go ahead and try to fish for him, or do a trap, like I said before, but, uh, but yeah, this is going to be pretty insane. So I'm waiting for my boy to go ahead and bring a net. And we're going to go and look through all these crawfish to find a male and a female. The chosen one. The chosen children of the corn. Okay, so my boy Sean's going to go ahead and pick out the finest crawfish in the land. He's going to get a whole bunch. And we're going to go ahead and analyze them to make sure whether they're male, female, every single color. So we're going to put them possibly in a little bucket. And then we're going to all examine them once. There's so many in there, bro. How many do you think are in there? Hard to say, but like a couple, 50 maybe. 50? 50 colorful crawfish. That one's brown. That's not a colorful crawfish. We, we, we don't want you. Well, Sean wrangled them all up. There are so many. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some light, please. Shine your glory upon us. Look at all this. Dude, there's so many in here. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. White, red, blue, patriotic. 
proud to be an American. Well, at least I know I'm free. You gonna sing along? No. Dude, your look how many they are. We have to get out of the shadow. <laughs> You're, in <my> shadow. <laughs> You're in my shadow. Jeez. Pour them in. One by one by one by one. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Look at all of them. One more, little one more. Bit. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So we're gonna grab some water and we're gonna choose which ones we're gonna get. We're gonna find a male white one and a female red one. Look at that, there's our male white one already. Wow. One and done, but he's not so white, but we're gonna put that one in there. Then we have this red one, that's a red male, so we're gonna let that go. Goodbye my friend, you're free. Now we have another white male maybe? That's white male, so we'll choose from those. This is a bigger white male, this is for sure a white male. It's a little dirty, I want him super white. But he has big, big claws, you see that? Oh, he does. He does. Oh, there's a little guy right here, be free my friend. Now we have to find the red female though. This one looks good enough for a red female, right? Yep, 100%. So we'll put Ooh. that one in there. I like this one. Please be a female. <gasps> it's a female. Wow. Look at that. 100%. This one's the one that's, that's coming That's one home. of the fireball ones. Yep, yeah. look. It's already pinching me too. Beautiful. Be free. So that's everything? Yeah, that's everything. Now we have to look what's inside the bucket. Final four. The final four. Which ones? Which ones do you think, Sean? Which one do you think? It is tough. They're both red. I think the other one. Right. How about how about the white ones first? You think that white yeah, one? Yeah, for sure that one. This one? Yeah. You have been chosen, my child, to be free. <laughs> and then for the red ones, the which one? one? one. This the one? on the left, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, love you a long time. I'll come <laughs> get you another time. Be free. Crawl into your home. <laughs> nice. Bye. So, guys, we're going to take these. Sean. Thank you so much. Bro, what's your Instagram so people can go out and follow you? It's Tank Diaz 21. Tank, Tank Diaz. Diaz. Like, we have the same last name. We are brothers from another mother. Oh. Look at that. It's like he belongs to Family me. photo. Family friends. <laughs> All right, but I appreciate your help. We're going to go get these guys and head home. All right, Slayers, we are back at the house, and we are ready to go ahead and get the red and white crawfish inside this tank. Now, situation is we have Larry the Lobster. Yes, guys. You decided to go ahead and name him Larry. That is going to be his name, Larry the Lobster from Spongebob, because he's so swole. Now, we're going to go ahead and get him out. As well as Mama Crow already finished laying her eggs, so I went ahead and moved the babies to the outer pond. So what we're going to go ahead and do, actually, is get Mama Crow and Larry the Lobster from the enclosures they're in now and move them into the goldfish bathtub. All right, so we're outside. It's a little chilly out here, actually. It's a little, uh, little chilly. We've... Experience a big old storm as you can see we have a lot of water now. I might go ahead and feed them for you guys so you guys can go ahead and enjoy them. Look at the little orange ball right there. Oh, that's so cool. Now, on top of that, here is husband and wife, Larry Lobster and Mama Crow. So here's Larry Lobster. Larry! Larry, 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 always trying to go ahead and get me. He's doing good, he's doing good. Again, guys, I like to emphasize, oh god, he's trying to get me. He's really trying hard, but... That's a man, as you can see, because he's so swole. But here's Mama Crawfish. As you can see, all her eggs are gone. So let's go ahead and send them on down. Come on. Here you go. Be free, my friend. And he's up. Now time for Mama Craw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me a second. Yeah. Into your new big old home. Boom. So I want to go ahead and have them in there. So that they don't go ahead and bother all the colored crawfish. Maybe we get to the point that we breed them on and get a red, white, and blue crawfish. It'd be pretty dope. So now we have these guys in here. And uh, when I want to go ahead and breed some more crawfish, I'll go ahead and do so. They got plenty of food as well. But the goldfish are safe. Everyone's good. Let's go ahead and put our colored crawfish inside their new enclosure. Oh, let's get that stretch out. Yeah, yeah. Because we're stretching out and getting ready because we have our crawfish right here. We have the red one and the white one and we have the blue one. Like I said, I'm proud to be an American. At least I know I'm free. Come on, sing it along. And I won't regret. I regret having her sing along. <laughs> that was really bad. I have much regret telling her to sing along. Now, here we go. Let's add him to the tank. The time has come to release our new crawfish. Now, what do you think we should name this one, babe? Pearl. Pearl. Pearl it is. Guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think about Pearl. And how about this one? Mm. I was going to name it Whiskey. Like the fireball. Okay. 
Whiskey like the fireball, guys. That's pretty interesting since it is a fireball crawfish. That's smart, that's smart. So, whiskey is the female. Red fireball crawfish, you see? You can tell right here because of the abdomen. And she's ready to go. Look at her crawl around. I cannot wait until we go ahead and have a whole bunch of little fireball babies. Now, let's go ahead and put this one in the tank. She looks awesome on that nice black gravel. Look at the colors on that. And just like that, into her hole she goes. All right, time for our white male who shall populate the entire earth. Here we go. As you can see right here. Oh my God. It's better. <sighs> Are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. <laughs> so, turns out Pearl is a female. What? <laughs> with all the crawfish we dealt with, we got a female white crawfish, and I must have put back the male in the tank. Well, this sucks. So now we have a lot of females. We have a white one, we have a red one. So I guess Pearl does fit since it's a female. <laughs> Crap. I literally no, it's not meant to yes, be. Yes, it is. No, it's not. I really had planned for me to go ahead and get the right one. You guys saw I did pick up a male. And now I have a female. So let's go ahead and put Pearl, the female white crawfish, in there. <laughs> and there she blows, Pearl, Yay. the accidental white women crawfish. Well, guys, I'm gonna be very sad. I'm gonna go ahead and try to figure out how I um, made that mistake. Thank you, Lily, for helping me out. And I'll see you in the next play adventure with a lot of women crawfish. Yeah.